Hi, I'm Paul, and I am not a gold bug. Do not trust Andy Sheckman or Liberty and Finance for your silver needs. I'm talking about buying. I'm talking about learning about silver, all of that stuff. And I want to talk about that. It's about time that we talked about that because, you know, um, if you've been watching my videos since I started making videos on this YouTube channel at the beginning of the year, you'll know that um, I've said some words about Liberty and Finance and Andy Sheckman. And I want to specify some of that stuff because, um, yeah, I mean, it's true, right? So basically what I'm talking about is in October of 2020, I wrote an article. I broke a story. I broke a story about American Silver Eagles at the U.S. Mint going from $54 to $67 per ounce for uncirculated coins. And uh, the story actually went viral, right? And everything I said in that article was absolutely true. Um, and I don't know if you could find that article. I'm sure you could, right? You'd probably have to go to archive.org and look for it. And I don't remember the exact title of the article that I wrote. Remember, I've been a victim, right? I've been a victim in the alternative media. But, you know, get right back up. Keep fighting. That's what we do, right? Um, so on October 9th, 2020 over on Finance and Liberty website. It used to be called Reluctant Preppers. They change names um, from time to time. They rotate in their little crew there. So Dunnigan, and I put that in quotes there, Dunnigan Kaiser um, uh, uh, and Andy Sheckman of Miles Franklin. And, and I'm reading here directly. So not exactly fake news, but misunderstood, right? So they're talking about me specifically when I wrote this article. Because that article went viral, right? It got like 80,000 views. Remember, people don't read online anymore. And Silver Doctors was on the proper not list in 2016, right? We were actively fought against for years and years and years and years and years. So they know for a fact that it's me that they're talking about. This is me that they're talking about here. And this article that I broke in October of 2020 that went viral. Um, that's not the point, right? So not exactly, and this is quotes, right? So I'm reading the description here. So I didn't go back and watch the video. I just want to read the description and talk about a couple things um, as it related to what happened then. Um, because, you know, this stuff goes on for years, right? This stuff goes on for years. People want to understand why doesn't the silver market ever change? Well, you got this kind of stuff going on, right? You got these kind of like gatekeepers or whatever it is that you want to call them that are bad for the silver community, bad for gold and silver buyers, investors, traders, whatever you want to call it, right? Liberty and finance is bad for gold, bad for silver, bad for the gold community, bad for the silver community. They're a bunch of shills. They do paid advertising. And I want to talk to them about this. And one day they're not going to be able to just laugh at me or ignore me, right? One of the days they will talk to me about this, but that's fine. Whatever. In the meantime, you know, just keep ignoring the elephant in the room, right? Half dollars, the elephant in the room. Just keep ignoring it. Whatever. That's fine. So, okay. Quote, not exactly fake news, what I wrote, but widely misunderstood. Okay, I'm just going to read this first sentence and then talk about it. Not exactly fake news, but widely misunderstood. Liberty and Finance's Dunnigan Kaiser reaches out to Andy Sheckman, CEO of Miles Franklin, to set the record straight with help from a direct contact within the U.S. Mint. Ooh. So, yeah, first things first. Not exactly fake news, but widely misunderstood. You know, I wrote a book about gold and silver before um, working in the bullion industry. Um... And I actually, in fact, uh, have worked uh, for SD Bullion before um, for years. Uh, I, I'm not an employee of West of SD Bullion now. Um, people most likely know me from my time at Silver Doctors and my writing publicly at Silver Doctors. But many people know me from many different hats that I've worn, right? I'm not an employee of Silver Doctors. Silver Doctors, for all I know, doesn't even exist anymore, right? I don't know what the fate of Silver Doctors ended up being, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, I was inside the bullion industry. You think I don't know what the bullion industry, how the bullion industry operates? Come on, give me a break. I'm misunderstood. I'm mistaken. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like bitterness here because, um, yeah, I didn't realize the extent to just how badly I've been mistreated over the years in my blindness. Um, and be nice to all people. 
Be nice to all people, especially if they have physical disabilities or mental disabilities. And love all people as I love all people. And don't hurt anybody ever. And always be kind to people always. So, you know, it's like I didn't realize the extent just of how against people have been on me for years. And it's cool. It's fine. It's whatever, right? But if my goal is to help people, then these things need to be said. So they're trying to make it sound like I don't know what I was talking about and that I didn't know what I was talking about, right? Like I was actually inside the Boeing industry at SD Boyan. And when I wasn't at SD Boyan, afterwards, I actually worked for Silver Doctors, right? So literally for years, multiple years, right? Like uh, uh, for five years, my job was literally to um, content editor, managing editor, right? Uh, content creation, writing articles, um, publishing articles, editing, proofreading, understanding the news, right? And especially gold, silver, and finance news. That was my job, right? I don't understand. I'm misunderstood. Right. And they are talking about me. As a matter of fact, they are in fact talking about me. Deny that done again. Deny that Andy. Right. They won't talk to me because like I said, it's like everybody like feels awkward about certain things. And unfortunately, that's just how people feel about me. Right. It's like certain entertainment industries people just are aware of. They don't like talking about it. But so they try to make me look bad. But that's not that's not the point here either. Right. I don't want to ramble too much, even though this is kind of like a rant. Um. It's been widely reported across different bullion channels, right? Of course, right? I was the one that broke that and I was the one that reported that in the manner that I did. Um, that Silver Eagles uncirculated were gone from the U.S. Mint. Here's a couple things about that, right? So when it came to Andy explaining it to Dunnigan, right? Andy's using all these terms that he knows are false. If he goes back and watches that video, he knows he misspoke on a ton of different things in that video. I didn't re-listen to it just now, but I know for a fact he's calling things, things that they are in fact not according to the U.S. Mint. So like talking about like, like, like we'll get into that, but like authorized purchasers and, and brilliant uncirculated versus numismatic and circulated and all this and all that. So like, I'm just going off of the description here, right? Cause I've Googled the video. So like here, here's the description, right? So point number two, if those numismatic uncirculated grade silver Eagles are better. So right off the bat, this is the coin that I'm talking about. These were those uncirculated silver eagles for sale in 2020 right here here here's here's one of those coins right when i said buy these coins right this is this is what you want to be loading up on right now at this price and think about that right 54 dollars of free shipping directly from the u.s mint and uh <laughs> my goodness if people would have only listened to me when they were paying 40 dollars for silver eagles over the last two years you know when the spot price is 20 i'm sorry right what can i say these people have something against half a dollar and I don't know what it is right I wish they would talk to me about this publicly but they won't they won't that's fine it's cool it's whatever right because I'm going to keep putting people on blast and I'm going to keep calling things out and I've thought about it today after I was kind of like hitting rock bottom and I've decided that you know what I am going to help people so the way that I'm going to help people is I'm going to step it up I'm going to kick it up a notch and I'm going to um hit even harder figuratively figuratively not like literally right don't ever hit anybody ever domestic violence is bad in fact all physical violence is bad that is not good do not ever be violent against anybody and do not ever physically harm anybody ever love all people as i love all people including dunnigan kaiser of liberty and finance and including andy sheckman of miles franklin so yeah like um so, so they're trying to call these numismatic, right? These are not numismatic coins, right? Like these are not, oh, oh well, see, I'm rambling here. I'm rambling. Okay, so they're trying to call all this stuff, stuff that it's not, right? And he's trying to talk about the difference between brilliant uncirculated and, and, and authorized purchasers and all this and that. Here's a newsflash, right? Miles Franklin was not um, an authorized purchaser of the United States Mint back in 2020 when he made uh, that video with Dunnigan Kaiser. And guess what? Here in 2023, I'm looking right now on the United States Mint website and Miles Franklin, again, still to this day, is not an authorized purchaser. So my point is that they were not only belittling me and attacking me, right? They're also trying to make it sound like I didn't know what I was talking about when I did. And then they're also confusing the terms and misrepresenting the terms and flat out lying, right, about how coins are bought and sold in the United States is what they're doing. 
So you got a bullion dealer who is either lying, knowing it, or doesn't understand how the bullion industry works. That's what's going on here. Which is it, Andy? Are you a liar or are you just confused? Right? If you're confused, why should anybody buy precious metals from you? And if you're a liar, why should anybody buy precious metals from you? So these are these coins that I was telling everybody to buy. And um, about a few. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of, I would call this semi-numismatic in my own words. I would call this semi-numismatic. And that's what we're going to get back to right now. Um, these are not numismatic coins. Um, as a matter of fact, in that video, um, uh, I think they're like showing the coin, right? They're showing the coin. And um, I'm actually going to look here. Um, and look for it in the video. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. For example, um, I just found it. Look at minute 344 of that video. The video is called $67 Eagles Fake News. Keep calm and carry on stacking Andy Sheckman. Right. So so this is the title of the video on finance and liberty. In that video, they're talking about, well, you can go check it out on the picture. <laughs> And, you know, they're talking about these things as if these are the numismatic coins. Okay, these are not the numismatic coins, first of all. And second of all, it clearly says in that video on Finance and Liberty, as they're showing the picture of the American Silver Eagles that I was talking about, right, at minute 3 minutes and 44 seconds, it says, um, mintage limit, none. Product limit, none. Household order limit, none. Think about that. Think about that, right? And then as you're thinking about that, go to, for example, here's 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 something that you can, um, uh, uh, here's an American Eagle 2022 one ounce on silver uncirculated coin, right? I think this is the most uh, recent one because uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't recall off the top of my head, right? Because I don't work inside of the bullion industry for a bullion dealer, in that capacity, right? I'm not an employee of a bullion dealer directly right now. Um, but uh, uh, so it looks like they got 2023 to be determined. Yeah, so so 2022 is still the current mint run, right? So these 2022 American Silver Eagles, well, if you look at this, right, on the U.S. Mint's website right now, today, February 2nd, 2023, it says mintage limit none, product limit 160 thousand right so you know the 2022 same exact product just a different date arguably 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 with the finest shred of arguability could be argued <sighs> numismatic although i would not do that right but why because the 2022 product has a product limit of 160,000, whereas the 2020 had no limit no such limit and uh, that is one of the reasons why they were, they're wrong, right? They're wrong over there on Finance and Liberty's website, right? So just, it was a hit job on me, right? That was a hit job on me. And remember, all of these things started happening in unison, right? Between the hit job on me, because I started, I started wearing, I stopped wearing knee pads, right? I stopped wearing knee pads. I'm, stopped, I'm not shilling, right? I got smart, right? I'm not shilling for your mining company. I'm not shilling for your newsletter. I'm not shilling for any of that stuff, right? I'm just trying to help people understand about gold and silver. So um, it was like a hit job on me in 2020. Uh, when they did that and and it continued right you go to 2021 what happened the silver squeeze wall street silver to the rescue <laughs> um yeah <laughs> there's some details about that too but uh i mean it's just it's a shame right it's a shame and it's whatever it's whatever right see that's what happens when you know, you got all these sprot boys and you got all these other newsletter writers. And you got the whole community turned against, you know, me in that sense, right? They wanted everybody off of the website. They wanted everybody getting away from what I had to say. And it worked, right? It worked. Congratulations. You did a great job, right? Congratulations. Yay. Yay, all those apes that, that are duped. Yeah, good for you, apes that are duped because the people behind Wall Street Silver are shilling sleazer op sleazy opportunists. And that has nothing against sleazy people, um, but it is something against uh, sleazy people. Sleazy people in the um, uh, 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 gold and silver community, 
pretending to be advocates when in fact they are not. And it is also nothing against, like, sexual things of any nature, so be nice to all people and don't ever discriminate against anybody ever, including, like, sex discrimination. But anyway, that comes because I used the word sleazy, right? But it's appropriate, right? Wall Street Silver was um, started by sleazy opportunists. Um, and they won't talk to me either, right? And that's fine, right? So that's my strategy, right? This morning I was like, wow, this is amazing, right? Like, you know, just cut me off, cut me off, cut me off. So what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to talk louder. I'm going to start getting louder now. And I'm going to turn it up. So um, guess what? Every day a video is coming out. And guess what? Every day, you know, um, I'm just going to scan, right? Scan. Whether it's like, need, if I need to put Bix Weir on blast, I'm going to put Bix Weir on blast. If I need to put Andy Sheckman on blast, I'm going to put him on blast. Whoever it is that's popping up on these channels giving bad information, right? Who is being dishelpful for the silver community. And especially, especially silver bugs, stackers, and other smart investors, right? I hate to be biased, but those are the three kinds of people that I like the most. Um... And what I can't stand more than any other kind of person, even though I love them because I love all people, are gamblers in the rigged casino in silver advocates clothing. And coming in either tied or slightly ahead or slightly behind would be manipulation, manipulation enablers. Um, and then also disinformation agents, right? Like, which is what this hit video against me is from October of 2020, right? And when I say disinformation, I also want to say don't spread conspiracy theories on YouTube because it's not a place for spreading conspiracy theories. YouTube is a good place for building community and sharing information and being entertaining. So, yeah, they, they're, they're, they're using words and terms that they know are not the proper words and terms to use, especially in the bullying industry. So shame on you, Andy Sheckman, for doing that. They're talking about these as if they were something that they're not, right? So shame on you, Andy Sheckman, and Dunnigan, for that matter, for saying these things. Um, what else here? Uh, so, yeah, they're talking about if we do pay the higher price. And again, I'm reading the description here. And remember, they could change all this stuff, right? So, you know... Just like I was erased, right? Memory hold. Um, um, Dunnigan could go back because they're notorious, right? For deleting comments, for blocking commenters, right? They do this all the time, right? And they've done this repeatedly to me, right? They don't allow dialogue, right? So, you know, this is another reason why Liberty and Finance is not um, uh, advocating for silver, right? Because they do not welcome dialogue, much less do they welcome challenging dialogue, but I lost my train of thought. See how this goes? So, um, uh, where was I? I don't even remember where I was. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah, because, you know, for all I know, they could they could just, like, edit this, right? So it's not going to say what I'm reading right now. Or they could just delete the video altogether, right? There's lots of things that they could do. Um, but that's fine. Do what you want to do. Everybody do what they want to do, right? Everybody does what they want to do. And uh, what I think I want to do is start ratcheting up the talk. And what that means is, like, if you have done me wrong, then you have done the silver community wrong. If you have done me wrong, you have done uh, 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 people learning about silver a great disservice. And that's going to be called out. And, yeah, I can only really make one video a day. Today is two videos, right? Think about that. Think about, think about what all these people are going up against. They don't know. They don't know a half dollar that well. They really don't, right? Because just like I was talking about the Army a couple of videos ago, not being the be-all, end-all of half dollar, neither is the bullying industry, baby. Neither is the bullying industry, baby. And this is 2023. So, yeah. Things are going to be said. People are going to be talked about. And my specific experiences will be shared. So they can just ignore the elephant in the room as long as they want. As long as they want. But, you know, the elephant is getting angry. And the elephant is, you know, getting bigger and getting stronger. And, you know, that elephant in the room, right, like, 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 you can only avoid it for so long, right? You can only avoid it for so long. So, so that's where we are today. Um, I just wanted to clarify a couple things, right? When I talk bad and it's not even talking bad when i talk about andy sheckman and when i talk about the guys over there at liberty and finance right i don't know dunnigan personally other than communicating back and forth through uh email on several occasions but i do personally know elijah and have in fact in person and 
virtually worked with him many times on many occasions, right? They're not silver advocates. Andy Sheckman is gold and silver bullion dealer. And I do not think that he is a silver advocate because of this video. And until we talk, email me, Andy, not a goldbug at gmail.com. We'll do it on a live stream. My opinion remains. So I didn't want to go over 20 minutes and here I am. Until he talks to me about these specific issues, he is not a silver advocate. And in fact, Andy Sheckman, even though he is a gold and silver bullion dealer, he is bad for the gold and silver community. That's what I got for the second video today. People are going to start getting put on blast a lot more frequently. Because you know what? I talk about the Fed. Nobody wants to hear it. It's fine. And that's good, really, because what I talked about is why people shouldn't even be worried about the Fed. So I'm just going to start honing in, right? Start honing in. Honing in with the titles and honing in with the topics. So, you know, put something on YouTube, right? Put something on YouTube. Don't think, oh, half dollar doesn't know how to work it, right? I'll work it. So that's all I got. Thank you for your time.